Brandon Dow, who can beat Steve Henry if anybody can. Yeah. And, uh, we're going to go do that. I think we'll start here in about an hour and 15. We'll shoot for like a 10.30 start. Uh, the winds are supposed to pick up around noon again. I think it's going to blow 20, 25 here on the lake bed again throughout the day, similar to like what we had yesterday. So we should be able to knock everything out in about an hour and a half, hour and 45. We'll be done right around noon, 12.30, so wind should work for us. Uh, All right, guys, Saturday morning is race day. We're just getting ready to push out to the race course. Uh, we did make gold class this year, so that's awesome. Uh, sitting seventh out of eight in the gold class so we got a bit of work to do there but uh instead of being at the top of the silver class we're towards the bottom of the gold class so that is an improvement in times and performance so the likelihood of getting up into the top part of gold is very little uh made some pitch adjustment last night we put the the loud muffler on so we may get a little bit more performance out of it uh we ran a 108 was our qualifying time i didn't fly well so there's room for improvement. Goal is a 106 or better. So let's push out and see if it's a two run day for me, if I can win one and move on up to sixth place or even better. So let's get after it. All right, so we're getting lined up here to start the gold class. RV3, Mike, West Point. We'll be going against Hal Stockman. RV West Point, make right it's traffic, tricked out. on the playa on the other side of the crash fire rescue vehicle. That tricked out on north. Right traffic on the playa, 3H Mike. Hal, go ahead and taxi behind Austin. Uh, Brian, taxi behind uh, Rod. Go ahead and go through the center lane and go right up the middle. You're going to race Brian next. All right, going up against Rod. This is a first. Real nice right now. There's no wind. We're cleared up. We're cleared down. Timers are ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? We all go up. Three, two, one, zero. Steve, just taxi all the way up into the tower. Go to your right a little bit more, Steve. No wind right here. Be safe. Ah, you got him, Brian. You got him. It was the tail. Clear to taxi, Rod. Clear to taxi. Follow Brian. Deep lane one. Six Lucas place. lane two. That was a tight one. He had me. He jumped a little bit, which I don't know if they'll call him on that, but he jumped the start. And then... Uh, he had me in the straightaway. Rod's really improved, man. He's first year doing it. He's in the gold class already. He's flying great. Um, 
really close. I got him on the little shorter landing and turnaround is where I got him. And then, uh, yeah, it worked out. So that's cool. I don't want to go home with two losses. So without a win, I will have two losses at some point. But um, yeah, good stuff. Ryan lane one, Lucas lane two. Guys, I want to give a little bit of background for this next race because it was pretty exciting to go up against Lucas from the Red Bull team with the Red Bull Carbon Cub that accomplished one of the most famous short landings in history, uh, landing in Dubai on top of this hotel on this little helipad. So show a quick clip of him doing it. It's absolutely an amazing feat. Worked with Mike Patey. Mike Patey modified this airplane for this to happen. An incredibly short landing. Amazing how much work went in and effort went into this happening. And Lucas brought that same exact airplane here to the High Sierra fly-in for his first ever stall drag competition. And this is who I'm matched up against next. Okay, it's real nice right now, guys. We're cleared up. We're cleared down. I got about three to five in my face, maybe. Timers are ready. You're ready. Lucas is ready on the arm drop. Three, two, one, see ya. Good run, good run. You got him, Lucas, by a touch. Clear to taxi. Lucas, follow Brian. Great run. Oh, it's got to be one of my all-time favorite races against Lucas. It was much closer than I thought it would be. He's running nitrous injection on that engine. Uh, he was running fast throughout qualifying and through the day of the race. I was pretty happy to be that close. But the main thing I'm excited about is on the turnaround, I believe, and we'll go back and look at that in slow-mo, then I may have landed a little bit shorter than the guy that landed on top of the hotel in Dubai. Woo! That was a close one, man. Running against the Red Bull Dubai helipad landing guy. That was freaking awesome. Uh, Lucas, go ahead and taxi him to the tower. Great job, by Lucas. Pull forward. I think that bumps me up to six. Nice, about three to five at my back. Still I think that bumps me up to about sixth place, which is great. Um, and they were close. I didn't feel like that was unattainable with him. Neck and neck going down. We stopped. It was the best turnaround landing I've ever done. Super short. Came to a stop. Great turnaround. It's probably the fastest time I've ever had. So can't wait to see the time on that one. But he's running nitrous injection on that carbon cub. He's running normal old aspirated Yamaha. So uh, that was awesome. Really Love doing this. It's so much fun coming out here to Dead Cow. All the guys that come out and volunteer, put it on. Christian in the tower, just working his butt off throughout the entire event. He's the only one up there. Thank you so much for that. Kevin, for doing this, and uh, all the other racers for being professional. That was great. And we will uh, get some of the shots of the of the awards night and uh, see who actually won the thing. Are you ready? Lucas, you ready? Me on the
Left quartering at about 8, maybe 10. 8 to 10, left quartering. Great job, congratulations, Steve. Lucas, congratulations. Both of you are fantastic flyers. Clear to taxi. Take it to the pits. Come on back for a team photo. So overall, we did really well. That was the fastest time I have ever run with this airplane with a 105.08. Uh, and we worked our way up into fifth place. So great finish for the Kit Fox and a really good time. So, so you all know who this is? This is Brian Dickus. If you watch any of my videos, I talk about Brian Dickus all the time. Fuel injection. But I want to know, my curiosity is on this wing. That's because that's where I'm at right now. Build, I'm A deep in building this wing right now. Do you like it? The piggyback stall wing, I think, has been one of my favorite modifications since I've had it flying, just because everything performs better. It flies faster, it flies slower, uh, it flies flatter. I took Rich up. Rich, sorry, but you're not a you're not a small guy. We went flying yesterday. It, it doesn't he was feel he was talking about it. Yeah, it doesn't feel like you have a, a passenger with you. And between the two of us, you know, we're. I found 500 pounds. I found that with my stock Kit Fox wing was is I gravitated towards not having a passenger because Me I too. could I could tell the difference. And if what you're saying is legit, then it popped that's, off the ground. I mean, it took a little faster, longer, slower. But popped off, it still climbed out, awesome. And yeah, yeah I love it. I think it's a great modification. <laughs> I know. Speaking I know. of piggyback stole wing, this is the man behind that kit from Snake River Bush Plains, Rich Kimball. Hello, everybody, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this has been the second stole drag that I've done with this wing on. And just to comparison, I was over two and a half seconds faster this year than I was last year here at this event. And I was three seconds faster at Reno than I was the previous years with the other wing on there, the Super Sport wing. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just that good at flying now and I wasn't then, or it might be the wing. Considering I didn't fly all that great yesterday, did okay today, I think a lot of it has to do with the wing. And the, the reason it is the wing is because it's faster and it flies slower. And I'm able to come across the, the landing line slower than then when that translates into stopping faster and that gives you better time. So really, the speed. Yeah, yep. yeah. So there's not, I haven't found a, a negative to the wing. You add a little bit of weight, but you're adding a lot more lift. So it's completely negligible. It does cut into your useful load is all, but if you're building a, play, a, a kit box and it's under 900 pounds, useful load is not a concern for you anyways. Um, it's somewhere yeah. around 38 to 40 pounds, roughly, Yeah, on the scales. Yeah. And playing around with slats, slats are fun on it too. You can, we're going to do some more testing with fixing them open after talking to some people here. You know, the slat testing we did had it so that they could open and close. We may put them back on and just fix them in a position, play around with that a little bit more. And uh, I don't know, well, they're fun to play with, but that's an option that goes on this wing also. And uh, yeah, any questions, you can hit up, you have an email? Uh, I have an email, snakeriverbushplains at gmail.com or our telephone number is 208-447-8087. And, and if you're from I'm China, usually... call me like every 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, every 10 minutes. I'm usually available all the time. All right. Well, thanks, Rich. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for the wing. You're welcome. All right. I'm glad you like it. I'm hey. not a competitive person. You guys. I'll support you. You remember Lee from, but if you I'm watch our do. Motorcycle Adventure Channel, this is my Motorcycle Adventure Channel buddy. Anyway, he came out to pit, pit crew for me. Kevin, get in here. My other buddy, Kevin Thompson. Hey there. And uh, anyways, thank you guys for coming out and helping out. They gave 115% today, and that's why we were able to bump up two places and get fifth place. Woo woo! Congratulations. Woo 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 woo! <laughs> Strong. All right, we're doing the annual High Sierra Fly-In Cruise. Look at this.
I'm having error three, no battery. Oh. Got a juice. She quit on me. Arrested, I was dressed in black They put me on a train and they took me back I have no friends for to go on my bail They slapped my dried up carcass in that county jail Early next morning about half past nine I spied the sheriff walking down the line well, he coughed and he cleared his throat. Come on, you dirty hat down to the district code. So we landed out here on the road. Just went over here to the hot spring right over there. Got a soak in. Now it's time to hop in the plane. Head back to camp. Pack it up. Go home. All right. So we're for Just went out to hot spring with Kevin. On the station there, right? Turn out. And now we're going to depart out and head home. Take care, Trevor. And good luck sticking uh, inside lane, we straight out. Sky Wagon 55 Delta is going to follow Brian out on lane one. We're making right, cross, uh, right down wind departure. White blue, 182, making a right crosswind turn. Head south of the boat. All right, man, that was what a great event. I'm such a good time at the ice here every time I go. And it comes up really quickly. You know, throughout the year, you're like, oh, well, yeah, I gotta make sure I've got the time off for high Sierra. And it comes up on you pretty quick. And then it goes by really fast while you're there. And then the flight home, every year, it's like, oh, I gotta wait another year to go do it again. And there was some talk that they might take a year or two off from doing it. And I really hope they don't. Kevin, if you're listening or if you ever watch these videos, Kevin Quinn, I really hope you don't because... It's really a special event, and I look forward to it. All Everyone that goes looks forward to it every year, and it's a great opportunity to, to see people we don't get to see throughout the year. And we would probably won't would otherwise if it weren't for this event. Uh, it draws people from really far away. you got Warren coming all the way out from Florida. I mean, what a great guy. I probably wouldn't see him if he didn't come all the way out here to this event. I'm not flying to Florida. Love you, Warren, but I ain't going to fly all the way out there. So, anyway, the event was just awesome it was much smaller attendance or less attendance this year but it was nice it was a really nice atmosphere there wasn't that chaos that went on you know on the years that were really big and actually we we were it was very safe event we had a couple little things like a, a, a prop strike on a cone uh, but really nothing it was it was very non-dramatic everything went pretty smoothly the red bull guys that were there um really cool to to meet them and and you know they did this some skydiving some aerobatics and then i got the race against luke in the in the red bull uh cup and uh it was just cool cool event all around i really appreciate it thank you kevin quinn and i also say thanks to kevin thompson and lee wycombe who are my pit crew guys they, uh, they're best friends I could have, man. I really just, I'm amazed they make the effort to come. It's a long ways for Lee and for Kevin to come out to this thing. So that was really cool. And then Rich Kimball came down from Idaho also. Thank you, Rich, for, for coming, you know. I'm really glad you made the trip. And uh, I can just sit here and ramble on about how cool it was to see everybody and, and but, what you guys need to do 
that are watching and are interested in this event, get your pilot's license. If you don't have one, if you have one, get current. If you're current, get proficient. If you're proficient, get an airplane. If you have an airplane, you're proficient, come out. Come out to High Sierra and uh, meet everybody. Man, what a great community. Just fun, fun time. So I'm flying home back to uh, uh, Reading. Got about 45 minutes to go. And uh, when I get there, I was going to hop in the, on the motorcycle and head back and get the truck and the trailer, but it's just been such a go, go, go weekend. I'm pretty beat, to be honest. It was so much fun. And it's Sunday, so I want to spend the rest of the day with my family. So when I get home, uh, just chill, and I'll go back tomorrow and get the truck and the trailer. Uh, well, the kids, and my wife's at work, kids there will be in school, and then I can just go get it then. So I'm sure it'll be fine out there on the playa. There's a couple of guys that are spend, spending another night and keep an eye on it for me. But uh, I'm just going to go home, chill for the rest of the day. At some point, i got to wash this airplane. It is so thick and dirty, you can't even tell what color it is right now. That playa dust is just gnarly. And it is also corrosive, so you got to use a little white vinegar when you, uh, in your soap mix when you wash just to get all that I don't know, alkali dust off of it. Anyway, you guys have seen that in the previous videos, but anyway, uh, yeah, I've got 45 minutes, so I'm not going to talk that long, but I, sometimes when I'm flying, it helps to make the trip go by. On these straight long trip, not long, it's an hour and a half, but it helps to talk to the camera. Because I don't have anyone else sitting next to me. So instead I've got all you sitting next to me, that's why I'm talking to you. Monday morning, about six. Um, jumping back on the motorcycle, head back to Dead Cow, go pick up my truck and trailer. This is the final step in, this is like the payment <laughs> for going to High Sierra, is getting everything back over here. So, uh, should be about three hours over. Load everything up, probably take an hour to get things situated there, and then probably four hours back towing. So, it's gonna be a long day, get it done, and then start cleaning. Well, boom, just like that. Three hours later, back out here on the playa. It is empty. There's one plane down behind the Port of Johns there. And I think all these other trailers out here are the rentals that need to become, that they need to come out and pick up. So the trick now is to get the bike loaded up and then uh, get out of here. So, We'll get to work. All right, I just got back to the hangar here. We're driving back from Dead Cow. Man, everything's super dirty. Uh, see how, how dirty the plane is in here. We'll wash it tomorrow. Get it all cleaned up. And then uh, it's raining right now, so hopefully that'll help take care of this. But I clean the trailer in the truck long day so far about 2:30. um uh, offload some stuff here at the hangar and then head home and that will just about wrap up high sierra 2023 oh look at that wing so dirty all right so for the last step of a high sierra 2023 get this puppy clean there we go she's all clean again so I got some interior kind of detailing to do still, but uh, that's the gist of it. Got the dust off. 